Tell me about the beginning. Uh, tell me about 76, uh, this young kid gets into decathlon. Um, for, in fact, first of all, you was, you was a sprinter, weren't you? you was a yeah, I, I started off as a sprinter, and uh, one day my club coach, whose name is uh, Bob Mortimer, he, uh, he came up to me and uh, he said, look, he said, uh, some of the guys are going to go and do a team decathlon down in Wales, and one of the guys has got chicken pox, so we need uh, somebody just to come along and, and just basically go through the motions. He said, you've got three weeks. I said to him, I hadn't done six or seven of the things before. He said, well, it doesn't matter, you're not going to... You're not going to do a lot, but just go down and see, and see if you like it. So I trained fairly hard, or what I thought was fairly hard for, for that three weeks with the shot put and the pole vault and all that kind of stuff. I went down there and uh, really enjoyed it. In fact, at the end of the, the first night, the end of the first day in the evening, I remember going to bed and thinking to myself, I could be really good at this. If I practised and and did all the things you're supposed to do, I thought, you know, I could be really good at it. And so that is kind of how my decathlon career started, which was purely by, by chance somebody else having chicken pox. So what was it? What was it in a decathlon that made you think, well, I like this? To be honest, I'd always thought I was going to be the best in the world at something. And for me, it was just, a, I think, a, a question of finding it. I mean... I've been very fortunate in my life, and one of the ways that I have been fortunate is the fact that when you're a kid, everybody thinks you know they can fly and they can be Superman, and then as the years go by, kind of life kind of mm. knocks that kind of attitude out of them. Mm. I've been really fortunate. Life was never able to wear me down and, and take that that childlike so, belief out. So, but is that fortune or is there something in you that will not be beaten, that grabs hold of a, of a principle or an idea and then gets your teeth stuck into it? I think it's a bit of both. I mean, you know, as I, I say, I, I consider myself to be the, the luckiest person I know and I also consider myself to be one of the most driven mm. people that I know. And if mm. it's something that I want to do, I, I'm happy to, to throw all my eggs in one basket. 